Hey guys, so for Christmas I bought my girlfriend an iPad and I wanted to wrap it in, you know, a bit of a different way rather than just straight old wrapping paper. Lately we've been playing uh, these video games on the PC, I think they're mobile games as well, uh, called The Room. And essentially these games are like sandbox escape rooms that you just sort of click and point and figure out the next puzzle uh, to open up a box or a compartment uh, until you can solve the whole thing. So what I decided to do is just build a puzzle box in real life and uh, put my girlfriend's gift uh, for Christmas inside there. So you can see this green box here which is the main compartment where the iPad is kept and I actually got her an iPad Pencil Pro as well which is in this uh, red box here. All right, so the box itself is actually quite interactive. So I've got a series of controls here that lead to an Arduino that's hidden on the inside. And uh, you can see it's got a power button, volume, uh, an option to turn hints on and off, and a start and pause button. I'll turn it on just to give you an idea of what's happening here. And basically I have it set so it's starting to play like a modified version of the theme song from The Room, uh, except this is uh, like Christmas themed. So it's slightly different, but sort of same vibe. I'm just gonna press start here and start the game up. Oh, 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 looking for a Christmas gift, are you? I once delivered joy to people's lives through the many gifts I delivered during the Christmas season, but those days have long since melted away. Centuries of gluttonous demand have worn down my spirit to naught but coal and ash. Your precious gift lies imprisoned within this box of my design, a puzzle so intricate that its secrets will forever remain beyond your grasp. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see you've decided to play with hints enabled. I knew you would need some help. Oh, 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 oh. If you're stuck, I'm sure my assistant, the clever Mr. Michael, can give you a clue. Alright, so to get this game started, you basically have to open up uh, this box here at the top first, which just has a clasp. Oh, you found some coins, did you? You should probably take them and buy your own gift, because you'll never find the gift I've hidden. In the first uh, box here, you can see there's a little micro switch, right? And all the boxes have this micro switch. And the switch is basically pressed the whole time when the lid is closed, it's on the switch. And then when you open it, it becomes unpressed. And this is wired up to the Arduino inside. And then based on what switch you press, the appropriate track will play through the speaker over there. And I've got, I think, seven or nine tracks, I think it is, that play ver uh, when you open various compartments and boxes here. Uh, we can see that there's a bunch of coins in here and a pink key. So I'm going to take all this stuff out and put it in my inventory. And I also have uh, some chocolate along the game that uh, for my girlfriend to find just in case she wanted a little treat while she was playing the game. Now it doesn't matter if you open or close the box again, the track won't repeat itself. If you do want to repeat the track, you can just press the uh, repeat button here and it'll start repeating the track. Oh, you can also pause the track at any time by just pressing this button. Now with this pink key, I'm going to open up the lock here on the blue box and see what's inside. Alas, this is not your gift. Just another useless box. There also appears to be a screwdriver, except there aren't any bits for it. Oh, 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 oh. So inside this box here, I've actually put... Uh, uh, another box that you can buy online from this company uh, called ID Ventures and it's just its own pu little puzzle box made out of laser cut wood and uh, I made her do that and I hid the uh, screwdriver bit here inside that box but uh, I've already re-gifted that little box to my nephew so I'm just have the screwdriver in here with the bit already needed. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, there's this lens here, which is actually just a magnifying glass with a flashlight. It doesn't really do anything other than, I guess, being a magnifying glass. But there is a lens when you play the room game, so I included it. Uh, the light was also pretty helpful for when she was trying to do this in uh, her grandma's darker room. 
So the bit that I got out of the box was this sort of uh, special hex bit, which are actually used on uh, N64 consoles. So I took a couple screws here from my console and just put them on the game here for her. So uh, basically you're going to take this bit now and open up this little side compartment. Alright, so now with the screws off we can push this open. What? What? Oh, very clever. I may have misunderstood you. And we've got a little rod uh, inside here. So now, inspecting the box, uh, basically looking for where a rod can go, uh, she would eventually be led uh, right here to this uh, hole with some arrows pointing inwards. Now, if you take the rod, it's perfectly shaped. You should be able to push inside here like this. Hmm, I'm shocked you've made it this far. No matter, you'll never solve this next box, which I once gifted to the great Sherlock Holmes. He was unable to figure it out, and you won't either. So first thing to notice about opening uh, this box here is there's actually a battery hidden inside here at the top. Put that in inventory. There's actually three batteries hidden around here, and uh, this is a second battery here. And then there's actually a third battery right over here inside this little compartment. These three batteries are gonna come in handy later. In this box, I actually ended up putting uh, another puzzle that I got from ID Venture, which kind of broke and we ended up not doing it. Uh, but either way, the main thing to get in this box was another screwdriver bit. This bit uh, having a little bit of a magnet on the end of it. The way this box actually works is when you press the metal rod through here, you're actually pushing in the middle of this ring here and then the ring is going up like that. This ring actually hooks on to this little uh, uh, latch here inside the box and that's what keeps it shut. But the problem is is trying to shut this box once it's already been opened because if you just close it the latch won't be there. So I drilled like a tiny micro hole in here. The trick is actually uh, sending a little piece of uh, floss or fishing line tied to the ring and then pulling it through like this. So then you just flip that up and close the box and then pull here and you can hear that it's actually gone underneath. And now the box is reset. I can easily press again to uh, pop it back open. So once we have the magnet we're back to this side here and you can see this part here with some arrows coming out. And if you push the magnet up to this little hole here you can pull out this bar. Uh, once this bar is removed now you can open this part here. Uh, so you can see the bar was previously through that hole and through this uh, into another stopper on the other side, preventing you from pulling it. So without the bar, you can pull this, and then now we have the blue key. So blue key, front of the box, uh, we'll just open this up. So first off, you can see I had a decoy blue key in this white box the whole time uh, that she could see. Uh, there's act no actual way to get that blue key. The other blue key was the real Whoa, one. Oh, you sold all my puzzles! I am impressed. However, I have sealed away your gift behind a word lock with 90,000 possible combinations. And, quite frankly, even I have forgotten the word. Oh well, I'm sure you didn't care about your gift anyway. You can use this flashlight to find your way home. By the way, I was wondering, did you like the way I decorated the box? My top five decorations were the golden snowflake the wooden star, the blue drum, the silver star, and the two Christmas trees together. Specifically in that order, I would say, as well. After she gets in here, she finds a black light. And if she had also found the three batteries I hid earlier, well, then that's perfect for using that black light. Using the black light here, uh, if she looks around the box, she'll find some letters. We got a K over there. Uh, we've got an A over here, over here is the S, and uh, up here is an N, and then over here the last one is a C. Now if you're paying attention to the last clue, you'll notice that uh, it gives you the order of those letters, and you could probably figure it out even without it. It spells the word snack, which is actually still Christmas themed. All right, so now that we got the combo, we can open this up. This is the main lock, and uh, this will get her to the iPad inside here. 
you were able to figure out my lost combination. Oh, you've returned the Christmas spirit to this old man's heart. Please, take your gift, and have a Merry Christmas indeed. Oh, right, I also forgot that I had my yellow key stashed away in there. You should open your gift, though, before you use the key. So then in the box, she found her iPad, which was also wrapped in regular Christmas wrap, and uh, this yellow key. And then she's got a little ribbon here to pull up because it's uh, jammed in there pretty tight. And the yellow key just opens up this last compartment here. So you can see here how the switches worked, how I just drilled a little hole and uh, ran the wires up, back, and into the Arduino. And I've sort of got um, a little hole in wires on every single switch. There's a switch inside here too. And then there's a few switches going up into the box uh, this through those holes. So I got my Arduino here running all the code and then a DF player to uh, play MP3 files. Uh, I've got a speaker up in here, a battery pack over here, which is held on by magnets. So you can just pull out the uh, Ford double-A batteries that this runs on if it ever runs out of batteries. Up here I've got a couple of capacitors to smooth out the circuit uh, and then this is mostly all the wiring for each of the switches. Um, this over here is for my LED array at the front that I built. Uh, it's grouped into four different sections here so I got a few transistors for those and basically this is going to control the lighting on the sign for uh, rotating the lights on and off. And then over here on the left, I've just wired up all my switches. And you can see everything sort of just goes onto these breadboard pieces to help me wire everything in here a little easier. One of the really fun things I had building with this box was this sign. And you can see it's in groups of four that the LEDs are uh, rotating. And that's with, with those transistors you saw earlier. And I actually have it held on with magnets here. So you can take a look on the inside. And uh, you can see I've just wired up all the LEDs and uh, have them all on a common positive there. I originally planned to include a power adapter so you could power it through the USB port as well. But I found that the AA batteries were able to last several hours for this, so it's not a problem. Okay, open. Oh my god, you made me a game! <laughs> a room! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it even has the soundtrack! <laughs> it's been Christmas-fied, though. <laughs> Christmas-fied. <laughs> oh, so impressed. In total, I spent around 150 hours making this. So it was a bit overkill for wrapping a one-time gift. But I had a lot of fun building it, and my girlfriend loved it, so it was well worth the time. I drew up a poor schematic, and my code's pretty AI-assisted and wonky, but I'll post the links for them in the description in case you're interested. As always, thanks for watching, and stay subscribed if you want to see more interesting videos I make from time to time.